Hello, welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is my review and final thoughts of the Utopia Expedition. What you see behind me are the terminals that we gained um, in each of the ex each of the phases of the expedition. I hope these make it into the base game. From a role playing perspective, they would be it would be really awesome. This is something I've kind of wanted personally myself in the game for a while. I don't always like going to the anomaly. I would rather be able to get the stuff through a terminal. Now, the terminal over here is what we actually get when we build when we start a new game. So, we're very limited as far as what we can build. We get a few of the core habitats. We get the base parts. We get the stuff for um, to make the, the stone and the, the metal buildings, and that's it. These are basically, when you go to the back of the anomaly, there's a station for, there's a station for backpacks, there's a station for multi-tools, there's a station for exocrafts, there's ship tech, and then there's building tech. There's one other that's like recipes for like the different rocks or baking um, polyfibers or the advanced blueprints that one's still on the anomaly but you can go to stations and 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 complete the quest some of the ter station terminals and if you do the right option you can pick those as the reward but I would really like to see these into the game I'm hoping they make it into the base game I want to do um, a new start to test out the base archives and see if maybe they've incorporated these into it. When I did the survival expedition or survival playthrough, I found out a lot of stuff that was available for free through the main through the quests that were added that weren't there when I had previously done it. Like I was not I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna be able to get a Minotaur. Before you only had to, you could get the Minotaur from the anomaly, but now when you do traces of metal you actually get a Minotaur if you don't actually own one. Which was, which was cool to know. So this would be a really awesome feature to be added into No Man's Sky as a whole. So these are some of the rewards that we got from the different phases. These are the posters that they gave out. So I didn't I haven't part, purchase any posters. This, this here also came from the uh, expedition. I don't remember when I got it. But it was one reward. I was able to build it once I completed the expedition. I didn't purchase it. This is the holographic geck that you get to when you're doing the mission. So, and this is the final banner. You get this when you've completed the expedition. And I put it on the door. I was wondering if it was going to stay there. It was like it actually disappears when you open the door. So I've kind of taken over a outpost so that I'd have a, a terminal to sell. Um, I can buy some of the limited tech uh, that they sell and I can just use these buildings as my base. So I, I have the, the, I purchased the pads from the terminal, which was, which was really nice. So it used me something to use my salvage tech for. So to give you a perspective on the speeder, this is the speeder that we got from the expedition. So the maneuverability is one of its key features. So it has like over a thousand maneuverability, 1,100. Whereas the hauler only has like 196. Like some, you can, you can sometimes find an S class that has, um, I think it's around seven, seven, 800 mobility, but you don't use, this is, this one's pretty teched out. So, I haven't moved a few things around. I put the shield, moved the shield from here to here, but pretty much I haven't done anything else. So the pulse drives are the main key feature. Okay, so this I caught the ship at the end of the expedition. So I just moved the sea shield from here to over here to where you get a bonus. If anything's connected, it gets a bonus. But these are the these, This is what it comes with stock. So you get the infra knife and the rock launcher, which. If you want to change out the guns, you can, or add a, add another gun, you can. 
so As far as rewards and stuff from the expedition, I would pleasantly pleased. I, I would really like to be able to get these in like my main saves, like uh, be able to put these in my bases of the, the of my uh, legacy save or my the multiplayer save that I usually play on. It would really it would really be nice. It's something I've been wishing for and hoping for, and it's nice to see them implemented. I was kind of thrown back when I first saw them in the saw them in the expedition, but I was really happy to to see them, happy to get them. So I want to go to another save. I want to go to my Polestar save and show you how to go to the space anomaly and purchase or pick up your exocraft or excuse me, pick up your expedition rewards. Okay, welcome back. This is my Polestar uh, save. As you can see, same Corvac. Um, this was an expedition as well. So. so you basically come to the anomaly, and you come here to talk to the Quicksilver guy. And down here, you have an option to collect expedition rewards. So these are the, all the rewards from the current from the current uh, from from basically here up are all from the the latest expedition so we'll go ahead and claim that so you have to have nanites to purchase it And then you can click the rest of them, like the Utopia Banner, Utopia Expedition, Rebel Egg, the Helmet, Holographic Friend, Planetary Base Posters, and then these are from other expeditions. So to use the helmet, you have to be in the anomaly. You have to have an anomaly. Look like the anomaly, and it's basically well, not very uh, you Click on head and number twenty, which is the newest one added. That is from the current playthrough, or from the current expedition. So this is that that new helmet. Now, Utopia was about, so you see that I have eight eight hours and 53 minutes in it. Now, I have tried, done a few things while in it, so I probably spent about 40 minutes in it. So, it was, it was really close to eight hours to complete Utopia. Whereas, if you look at some of my, the other playthrough, you know, the other ones, like the freighter one where we never left, the, where we had to do everything on the freighter, it took me like 19 hours, and about 20, 30. So... In, re in re retrospect, it's not real. Like, even the Polestar, I only have 16 hours into it. So, it wasn't a very long expedition. Alright, so back in my Utopia save. If you come to this guy, I haven't been in the Anomaly in this particular game. Purchase old scrap. Down here, you see it says already owned. So I are I got this from I believe the expedition, the current expedition. It's basically a, another a, a painting you can put on the wall. These were all earned in other expeditions, but you can come here and there, there's generally he has something from the expedition as well that you can pick up. I think it I think it already gave it to me. But I could claim these from my previous expeditions. So these are the the this is the golden vector. 
uh, just claimed from the anomaly and this is the utopia speeder just claimed from the anomaly the utopia speeder has more maneuverability has 1100 1100 maneuverability whereas the golden vector has 706 the damage potential are both the same their shield strength um, the vector had one more as you see, the Utopia Speeder is an S Class 3724. The Golden Vector was is a 2918. So they're pretty much the same. It's just the Speeder actually has a lot more maneuverability. So the Vector comes with this as a stock layout. So it has the um, phase beam with no rocket launcher and so it has some s class but this is this is what this is what you get when you claim the vector stock from the anomaly this is what you get when you claim the utopia speeder directly from the anomaly so it comes with a rocket it does come with a rocket launcher and maneuverability this is the layout for the Utopia Speeder that is stock. The ship's maneuverability feels pretty damn good. It's pretty smooth. So it's a pretty good ship for an expedition reward. I did this yesterday. I got to far out. Going full speed. Takes you way back up. Takes you way up in the air. But it does it pretty fast. So this is with holding in both buttons and then just with one thruster. That's pretty good takeoff speed. And then when you add the additional booster. It's a lot faster than the uh, oh, this one. No, nope, not there. It's a lot faster than the gold vector. That's a park here. So my final thoughts. Hello games, if you're listening, I hope you put those construction put those terminals into the main game if you haven't already done so. It would be really awesome to see. But I think the expedition is worth playing. It's fun. Um, the aggressive sentinels planet I thought was going to be a lot more intense, but had I remembered that I had the uh, cloaking device and could have cloaked myself, it would have been made myself made my life a lot easier. Um, but that was on me, not on the not on the expedition. But just if I, I am going to play it again on a different account, and I want, I one of the things I will do differently myself is I'm going to mine a lot of copper and chromatic metal before leaving the first planet. Probably grab some star bulb, and knowing that I'm going to need it uh, later on in the expedition. So it's a good expedition, good rewards. Thoroughly entertained it. I thoroughly entertained playing the expedition. And looking forward to spending more time in No Man's Sky. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Leave a comment down below. And hope to see you in the next one.